Okay guys, this month's or couple of weeks program is gonna be all about tempos. So we've been building a lot of strength and it's been looking really, really good, but now can we actually control that strength? Can we slow it down and demonstrate that we really understand what's happening in our body? So on day one, you're gonna see posterior chain. We're gonna have some fun with this one. There's gonna be a couple of new exercises in here, a couple of ones that are very similar to what we've been working on over the last couple of programs. Rams. So you're going to see in the prep work, we're going to be doing some lat pushdowns to try and get those lats focused. We're going to do some banded Jeffersons. This one is actually where we're going to be pushing our body down rather than letting the weight pull the body down. It's going to give us a different idea of where that flexibility comes from. We're going to couple that with some seated compression leg lifts, everybody's favorite. And then we're going to do another new one, which is some scapula shrugs trying to create some strength in those shoulder blades for what's coming next. We're gonna put 10 minutes on the clock and we're just gonna do as many rounds as we can of this. We're gonna to look to go for the burn or basically until we're tired or bored of each exercise. Next up, we're gonna do some fun new skills. So we're gonna do an arch hang and we're gonna do a pike press. Now for the arch hang, you're gonna see lots of different variations. You are not gonna be doing the same thing as you are the next person beside you. It's just not going to happen. What you're looking for is how well do your shoulders shrug or move your scapula? Can they decompress as we're trying to pull ourselves away from the bar? You may need a lot of help from your partner. You may not. I don't want you to go for movements that are outside of what you can feel. Focus on the feeling. Next up is the pike press. Again, we're going to have tons of variation here. It's just the way it is. Some of you are going to be more mobile than others. So you might be super, super strong, but if your arm doesn't go over here, we can't really start doing overhead work like handstands. It's just not going to happen. So don't stress about your regression or progression looking not as cool as the person beside you. Yes, the person beside you might be hanging off the wall and you might be working with bands, but that doesn't matter. It's all about where where you are right now, what can you get intensity from? How can you load the tissues we're trying to target? So week one, we're really just gonna learn this. It's gonna be brand new movements. They're gonna be really hard. So we're just gonna fail at it, all right? You're gonna find the regressions. You're gonna find what you like, what your body likes. Do not find what your ego wants. 15 minutes on the clock, and we're just gonna go through this as many times as we can. It's not conditioning. You're not trying to get your heart rate up. You're trying to have fun, explore. Then we'll move into strength. This is where those tempos are coming in. Barbell RDLs, we did them two programs ago. We're gonna go super slow. We're gonna make sure we're keeping that bar really tight to the body. Lots in the hamstrings, lots in the upper back. How we're gonna progress this is every week, the weight is gonna go up and the time that I'm doing the movement is gonna go down. So on week one, we're just gonna find the weight that works for us for about 10 reps. We're gonna go nice and slow, but not crazy slow. So maybe like two seconds going down. Really nice and controlled. Keep that bar touching your legs. Week two, we're gonna use the weight, the initial weight, and we're gonna add five, 10 pounds, maybe more. We're gonna figure it out as we go along. But here's where it's gonna get hard. We're doing less reps, we're gonna do seven reps, ish, five seconds going down. So no cheating, five seconds, five, four, three, two, one, that's a long time, okay? You're gonna do about four sets of this. You might wanna warm yourself up to that working weight as well. You might be able to jump straight in. Week three, increase the weight again, five, 10 pounds, six reps, but four seconds on the eccentrics. We're gonna do three of those working sets. You might need a couple of sets to work yourself into it, but don't lollygag on those. You see a lot of kind of wasting time in those warm up sets. It's just to get this everything feeling good, the movement down, you're feeling happy, then get to work. Week four, five reps, three second eccentric, three working sets. Again, you might need two or three warm up sets. Week five, increase weight, three reps, three seconds, and do two working sets. Week six, we're gonna use the weight from week five and we're going to do as many reps as possible but it's only going to be a two second eccentric so you're going to end up with a similar amount of reps and a similar tempo as week one the learning week but the weight should be maybe 30 40 pounds heavier that's how we're going to develop the strength on this one it's all about feeling here okay keeping time under tension keeping your muscles engaged and controlled as we go then we're going to move into our accessories nordic 
curls and heel elevated goblet squats. We want those heels up high, very high, because I wanted this to be all about the quads. You are going to go for the burn. How many reps? More. That's it. Just do more reps. I want the burn plus five or 10. Don't even start counting until the burn starts. The Nordic curls are going to be fun. The goblet squats are going to be a big, big burn. That's our day one as the program.